weekly update for Friday, July 22nd. And uh, we're getting ready for um, service archive number five, the uh, Kickstarter campaign. We're hoping to have that launched either next Friday or the Friday after that. And once it's launched, uh, the weekly update will actually be replaced for uh, the duration of the Kickstarter campaign for uh, the many origins of Jaka. And uh, just to give you a sneak preview, here's, uh, here's three origins of Jaka. Boy, uh, don't, don't blink or you miss him, right? Uh, the other news this week, um, we've got uh, the going home negatives all uh, stored and um, preserved in plastic and uh, between acid-free sheets of paper. And that's very good news. And the other good news for the off-white house is uh, the back corner. That problem northwest corner that uh, has been uh, in danger of basically just falling off of the house uh, since uh, we moved the offices in here back in 1990 and uh, the roof uh, coming down and squirrel infestation that I'm sure you remember. And finally this week uh, we laid in the concrete solid concrete. You don't usually do that with a back corner porch, but uh, I really had it up to the eyeballs with the northwest corner of uh, the off-white house. And I was determined that uh, we were going to put something in. Uh, as I told Mark, I want something that will take an artillery shell and come up uh, smiling, which uh, is really what we've got. Not only is that solid concrete, it's also shot through with fiberglass. So you would literally need a team of guys with jackhammers working around the clock just to get that out of there. So the uh, way I look at it is uh, the rest of the house may, uh, may come down in another 100 years or 150 years, but uh, at least I will have, have established one corner of the off-white house that should endure. And just a reminder that uh, we're coming up on the uh, final order cutoff date, uh, July 28th, for um, Cerebus in Hell with a question mark number zero. And uh, that's uh, six days away. So if there are any stores that any of you can contact uh, locally and just Ask them if they can order one or two copies of Cerebus in Hell with a question mark, number zero. Uh, we're just sitting here waiting for the, uh, for the next six days and basically going, okay, how bad's the news going to be? Um, maybe it'll be good news. Who knows? Uh, but the order code is uh, JUL, just like in July, 161. 105, and that's for Cerebus in Hell number zero. Uh, that's the final order cutoff date for the retailers, July 28th, six days from now. So if you can help help out with that, uh, Cerebus in Hell uh, with a question mark continues daily at uh, uh, CerebusDownloads.com as well, and of course we post uh, the week's worth of strips uh, here at a moment of Cerebus. Uh, once a week. But uh, if you want to get the Cerebus in Hell with a question mark, number zero, those are uh, brand new strips. Those are not strips that have appeared already at Cerebus Downloads or in the launch here at a moment of Cerebus. Uh, Cerebus in Hell with a question mark, number zero is brand new material. Uh, it's only 24 pages. Uh, Diamond listed it as 32 pages but we were very specific in the solicitation that it was 24 pages. Uh, order code again, July JUL161105.
and <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I uh, hope we'll see some of you next week on uh, July 29th.